2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Review On. If you need a fuel-efficient vehicle with 7 seats, look no further than the Pacifica Hybrid. Dot before 2017, there weren't many choices if you wanted a good mileage from a vehicle with 3 rows of seating. The Toyota Highlander Hybrid was pretty much the only game in town. However, there's not much cargo room behind the third row in any three-row crossover, and adults don't fit easily into the league room challenged rear seats. The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid solves both of these problems, with a spacious seven-passenger layout and a cleverly concealed battery pack. The Pacifica Hybrid is actually a plug-in hybrid which means you can charge the hybrid battery pack with an external power source to get up to 33 miles of AL electric driving range. In some scenarios, that's enough juice to drop kids at school, go to the office, run an errand at lunch, then return for the kids and evening soccer practice, all without dipping into the gas tank. When you do need gas, a stout V6 engine kicks into assumed duty. The EPA estimates you'll get 32 miles per gallon in combined driving, which is still by far the best in the minivan segment. You only give up two things when choosing the plug-in Pacifica Hybrid over the standard minivan. The gas in the Pacifica features a seat management system called SDO and GO for the second and third rows. With it, both rows of seating fold neatly into the floor to create a flat load space behind the front seats. The hybrid 16 kWh battery pack occupies the empty space below the second row that allows those seats to be folded in the normal Pacifica. Additionally, a second row bench is not available, so you can only seat 7 in the Pacifica Hybrid. Other than these minor drawbacks, the Pacifica Hybrid is pretty much the same as the standard Pacifica. There's the hybrid powertrain, of course, but you get the same high-quality interior materials intuitive user interface and comfortable ride. And because the base Touring Plus Hybrid matches up with the mid-trim Pacifica from a features standpoint, every hybrid is fairly well equipped. In fact, the fully loaded Limited isn't significantly more expensive than the Touring Plus, though this says more about the hybrid's high starting price than the top trim's comparatively low upgrade cost. If you can look past the Pacifica Hybrid's base cost and lack of Secondra Sto and Go, you'll be rewarded with a handsome minivan that offers cargo and third-row room superior to what you find in any rival. What's new? A new Touring Plus trim level joins as the entry-level Pacifica Hybrid model, while last year's trims, the Premium and Platinum, have been renamed Touring L and Limited, respectively. Blind Spot Monitoring, an upgraded Uconnect infotainment system, HD radio and newly available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the board. A 20-speaker Harman Kardon audio system is added to the Limited's list of standard features, and the rear seat Uconnect theater system can stream video from connected Android devices. The navigation system now comes with 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity. We don't normally recommend buying the most expensive trim available. But in the case of the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, we think the fully loaded Limited offers the most bang for your buck. It doesn't cost much more than the Touring L, but it adds a substantial number of features. For not a whole lot more than the L, you get upgrades such as premium leather seating, an automated parking system, advanced driver assistance features, and a rear entertainment system with C8 mounted screens for the kids. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid is a three-row minivan that seats seven passengers. It's available in three well-equipped trim levels, Touring Plus, Touring L and Limited. Under the hood of every Pacifica Hybrid is a 3.6-liter V6 engine augmented with dual electric motors 260 horsepower total. The system is paired with a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT that drives the front wheels. It can travel about 33 miles on electric power alone. After that, the V6 and normal hybrid operation take over. A 240-volt power supply can fully recharge the 16 kWh battery pack in about 2 hours. Standard exterior features on the Touring Plus include 17-inch wheels, automatic headlights, LED taillights, fog lights, 
power sliding doors, heated mirrors and keyless entry and ignition. Inside, you find an 8-way power adjustable driver seat with 4-way power lumber, a driver information display, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, Drizzen automatic climate control, ambient lighting, second row power windows and a 60-40 split folding third row seat. Technology features include an 8.4-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, Bluetooth, voice commands, and a 6-speaker audio system with HD and satellite radio, a USB port and an auxiliary jack. Standard driver aids include a rear view camera, rear parking sensors, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. A power lift gate is available as a standalone option. The Turing L adds the power lift gate, along with roof rails, remote engine start, an upgraded center console, heated front seats, a leather wrapped steering wheel, leather upholstery, and second and third row window shades. Both Turing models can be ordered with a navigation system which also adds 4G LTE Wi Fi connectivity and a rear seat entertainment system, which includes a DVD player and an overhead display screen. Upgrades to the top level limited are numerous. On the outside, the limited adds automatic high beam control, automatic wipers, chrome trim, and hands free operation for the sliding doors and lift gate. Inside, you find an auto dimming mirror, adaptive cruise control, upgraded leather, a power passenger seat, ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, an automated parallel and perpendicular parking feature, the navigation system a 20-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system, and second and third row USB ports. Passengers in back will also appreciate the Limited's added Blu-ray player, seatback video screens, a household-style power outlet, and wireless streaming from connected Android devices. Additional driver aids are also included, with front parking sensors, lane departure warning, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking and a 360-degree parking camera added to the list. A panoramic sunroof and 18-inch wheels are optional. Standard on the Limited and optional on the other models is a secondary driver key that Chrysler calls Key Sense. Intended for younger drivers and valets, this key starts the car as a mode that limits top speed and volume, keeps all driver aids activated and restricts user-defined satellite radio channels. Trim Tested each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our first drive of the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid 3.6 liters V6 plug-in hybrid, CVT automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the current Pacifica Hybrid has received only minor revisions. Our findings remain applicable to this year's Pacifica Hybrid. Driving whether you want to evaluate using minivan or hybrid standards, the Pacifica Hybrid performs well. It's considerably heavier because of its hybrid componentry, but you won't notice it much in everyday driving. Acceleration is decent, and it's easy to drive. Acceleration. There's only a total of 260 horsepower on tap, and the hybrid weighs more than a regular Pacifica. Even so, Acceleration from a stop is brisk thanks to the added low end torque output of the electric motors. Braking. In regular driving, the brakes are easy to modulate with a short pedal travel and good feel and response for a vehicle with regenerative braking. Steering. The steering is well weighted and it's easy to maintain stability on the highway. But it communicates very little about what the wheels are doing when you're going around turns. In low road grip situations, Good steering feel can help bolster driver confidence. Handling. Considering the Pacifica Hybrid's substantial weight, handling is fine as long as you don't do your best Mario Andretti impression. Body roll is kept in check, and it makes it around corners well, even if the steering doesn't feel all that precise. Mid-corner bumps are dispatched with few issues. Drivability. Shifting to L noticeably ramps up the regenerative braking force when lifting off the gas pedal, staying in normal D mode makes for more natural braking feel. The handoff from Regan to mechanical brakes is imperceptible. Comfort. There's a lot of room in the Pacifica, 
but the seating position in the second row can be a little tight. The overly firm seat cushions compromise comfort, too. The ride quality, however, is smooth and calm. Seat comfort. All three rows have firm padding. The front seats have lots of adjustment range, but neither the second nor third row reclines or slides for or aft. The second row seats are suitable for average size adults, but they don't slide forward or back so long a leg passengers may need to squeeze in. Ride comfort. The Pacifica hybrid goes down the road comfortably and with poise. It's seldom bothered by small or large road imperfections. Dipping a wheel into a pothole sends a shudder through the cabin, but there's little jostle when the wheel returns. Noise and Vibration There is minimal road noise and only a small amount of wind noise created by the side view mirrors at highway speeds. You get the bonus of quiet all electric operation at low speeds, though the hybrid's CVT makes the V6 engine drone noisily at full acceleration. Climate Control Climate can be controlled through knobs and buttons on the dash or through the touch screen. Both ways are relatively easy to use. The air conditioning does a good job of keeping the entire cabin cool on hot days. 3's own climate control is standard. Interior. Whether you're making the daily commute or spending a long weekend on the highway, the Pacifica Hybrid's cabin is a pleasant place to be. Judged strictly by the numbers. The Pacifica Hybrid is marginally smaller than Rivals, but it feels just as spacious as class leaders. Ease of Use The controls inside the Pacifica Hybrid are intuitive and easy to use. The buttons are large and easy to locate within arm's reach of the driver. Touchscreen controls are laid out well with frequently used commands available from the main home screen. Getting and Jetting Out The front seats are mounted a bit high but there's a low floor and high ceiling to help out. The sliding rear passenger doors provide a generous opening for ingress egress or for loading child seats, and there's a large gap between the second row seats to access the third row. Driving Position Highly adjustable front seats and a tilt and telescoping wheel make it easy to find a comfortable driving position. The steering wheel feels large, solid and hefty in your hands. Roominess from the front seats, the Pacifica Hybrid feels relatively large, with ample headroom and hip room. Legroom in the second and third rows, however, is just average by minivan standards. The third row is positively roomy against a Highlander Hybrid. Visibility Massive windows, big mirrors and clear lines of sight make it very easy to see out of the Pacifica Hybrid. Blind spot monitoring Rear parking sensors and a rear view camera come standard, and a 360 degree surround view camera is optional. Quality. At first glance, the Pacifica Hybrid presents an upscale vibe with nice soft touch surfaces. On closer inspection, though, things are less than perfect, with crooked stitching on the steering wheel and door panels, for example. Utility. The Pacifica Hybrid isn't the largest in class but only falls behind leaders such as the Honda Odyssey by a few cubic feet. The Hybrid doesn't offer stow and go seating in the second row due to the battery pack. But the seats can be removed. The third row seat folds into the floor when not in use. Small item storage. The center console storage is large enough for big water bottles and a few snacks. There are small pockets everywhere in the cabin, including cup holders cubbies and magazine slots. Got a million little things? They all fit here. Cargo space. Though not as roomy as gas and lee minivans, the Pacifica Hybrid offers more cargo space than competing hybrid or F crossovers. You get a massive 32.3 cubic feet behind the rear seats, which fold flat at the touch of a button. Child safety seat accommodation. The rear sliding doors provide great access for loading car seats. There are two sets of latch anchors in the second and third rows, but accessing them isn't the easiest. Towing Chrysler does not recommend towing with the Pacifica Hybrid. Get a truck. Hauling It has enough cargo space to fit an 8x4 sheet of plywood, according to Chrysler. For repeated runs to the home improvement emporium or just helping a neighbor move house, this will do nicely. Technology Pacifica Hybrid's Uconnect is one of the easiest infotainment systems to use, 
thanks to a large 8.4-inch touchscreen display, clear graphics and controls. Audio and navigation. Uconnect is one of the best systems in the class. The controls are easy to understand with a convenient menu on the lower portion of the screen for main commands. Navigation info can be displayed on the center screen or within the gauge cluster for easy viewing. Smartphone integration. It's easy to plug in, boot up and index music quickly via the USB ports. No problems connecting devices via Bluetooth either. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard for 2018. Driver aids. A rear view camera, blind spot monitor and rear parking sensors are standard. Adaptive Cruise Control ACC, Lane Departure Warning and Intervention, and a 360-degree camera are optional. ACC is overly sensitive, often creates a large following distance, then breaks hard when there's a minor slowing. Voice Control The Pacifica Hybrid comes standard with voice controls for audio, phone calls and voice text reply. Long-Term Road Test To learn more about the Pacifica Hybrid, Read our updates from a full year of living with a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. We cover everything from seat comfort to round world fuel economy. Please note that our test Pacifica was not the hybrid version, and our observations about engine power, performance and fuel economy are limited to the gas-powered model. It's the same generation and model, though, so most of our observations about comfort and technology, for example, still apply. Read long-term test.